Welcome to the STA and Lovey Bond pool water testing summary video. What is included? This video covers the following aspects of pool water testing. Why you should test, preparing to test, what to test for, taking the sample, methods for carrying out tests with various pieces of equipment, record keeping, housekeeping and frequency of tests. Why you should test. The various water tests are carried out to ensure bather comfort, bather safety and hygiene, disinfection and pH are at the recommended levels to kill microorganisms, balanced water conditions which prevent erosion, corrosion and excessive scale formation and in which pH fluctuations are stable and controllable. Preparing to test. To ensure you achieve accurate results, we recommend the following steps prior to testing. Wash and dry hands. Use a suitable location away from the poolside. Check the equipment is clean, dry and fit for purpose. Ensure you have the correct tablets for each test. Always follow relevant safety procedures. What to test for? This video demonstrates the essential tests and calculations that all pools should be doing, including free chlorine, total chlorine, combined chlorine, pH, total alkalinity, calcium hardness, temperature, and total dissolved solids. Taking the sample. Pool water samples should always be taken in a clean, non-glass container from a depth between 100 and 300 millimeters. Pool water samplers are the most suitable way to collect water samples. Sample bottles should always be rinsed out three or four times with pool water before taking the sample. Putag recommends samples to be taken at the deep end and furthest from the inlet, the most vulnerable part of the pool and occasionally elsewhere. Parameters such as the free chlorine concentration and pH can not only change rapidly in time, but also vary quite widely across the pool. For a simple rectangular pool that has the water inlet at one end and the sump outlet at the other, there will inevitably be a gradient in water chemistry from one end to the other. However, this is not always the case, particularly for deck level pools with multiple inlets located in various positions around the pool tank. It is particularly important that any sampling is done away from the pool inlet, as the water flowing into the pool through the inlet may contain elevated concentrations of dosing chemicals if dosing is in progress. Always ensure you have a sufficient water sample to carry out all the tests. Testing equipment. A variety of equipment is available for accurate water testing. Photometers, comparators, tablet count kits and meters. A typical photometer test for free chlorine. In this example we are using a photometer and compatible tablet reagents. Clean two test tubes thoroughly and rinse out three to four times with pool water. Fill one tube to the 10 mil level with sample water. Add one or two drops of sample water from the first tube into the second. Add a DPD number one tablet, avoiding touching it. Crush and stir with a cleansed stirrer. Observe the pink colour developing in the sample. Decant the remaining water from the first tube into the second, thereby topping it up to the 10 mil mark. Be aware of bleaching out, which will be covered shortly. Fill the empty tube with pool water to the 10 mil mark for use as the blank. Insert the tube filled with plain pool water the blank. Switch on, select free chlorine test mode and set the zero. Insert the pink sample and measure the free chlorine.
record the results. Record keeping. It is essential that all pool tests are recorded. Pool tests can be recorded on pool log sheets or by using software such as STA's ITIS system. Records must be kept for at least five years. Bleaching out. Should the sample bleach out during the free chlorine test, for example, a flash of pink, then clear again, this indicates high free chlorine and the dilution method for water that is over chlorinated should be followed. A typical photometer test for total chlorine. The coloured sample by which the free chlorine reading was obtained is now used to test for total chlorine. Add a DPD number 3 tablet to the free chlorine solution, avoiding touching it. Crush and stir with a cleansed stirrer. Select total chlorine test mode. Insert the pink sample and measure the total chlorine, ensuring two minutes have passed since mixing the DPD number no. 3 tablet. Many photometers, like this one, have a built-in timer that takes the reading automatically after two minutes. Record the result. For the combined chlorine calculation, subtract the result of the free chlorine test from the result of the total chlorine test. This sum provides the concentration of combined chlorine. A typical comparator test for pH. The accuracy of the reading obtained using a comparator will be dependent on the operator carrying out the test correctly, their eyesight and perception of colour. Fill two test tubes to the 10 mil mark with pool water. Add a phenol red tablet to one of the tubes, avoiding touching the tablet. Crush and stir with a cleansed stirrer. Observe the colour developing in the sample. Put the tube containing clear water into the comparator behind the disc on the left hand side. Put the coloured sample into the other slot. Ensure that a clean, correct pH disc is in the comparator. Rotate the disc until the colour match is found. Record the reading which is displayed in the results window. Be very wary of the results of phenol red tests in water with a high chlorine concentration because the high chlorine causes a pink or purple discoloration of the phenol red dye, producing a misleading result. A typical tablet count test for alkalinity. Clean the shaker tube and lid. Fill the shaker tube to the 50 mil mark with sample water. Select the correct tablets and without handling the tablets, put one into the shaker tube. Replace the lid and shake until the tablet dissolves. The solution will turn yellow. Making a note of the number of tablets used, continue to add tablets one at a time without handling until a permanent pink colour is produced and remains after shaking. The result is calculated by multiplying the number of tablets by 40 and then minus 20. In this example, it takes 3 tablets, 3 times 40 equals 120, minus 20 equals 100. Record the results. For tablet count tests for other parameters, the colour changes and calculations will differ. Meters for total dissolved solids and temperature. These meters give direct on-screen readings and can be used either in the pool or by using a suitable sample container. Switch on the meter 
and submerge the probe for several seconds. Press the hold function. Remove the meter and check the readings. Record the results. Balanced water. Sometimes referred to as the Langelier index, it is a formula to determine if the pool water is in balance, is scale forming or corrosive. The results from the calcium hardness total alkalinity, temperature and TDS tests are given a factor which is used in the formula to calculate water balance. The formula is calculated by adding the actual pH result to the calcium hardness, total alkalinity and temperature factors and lastly deducting the TDS factor from the sum. There are also several easy to use electronic alternatives such as Lovey Bond's Poolmate app and STA's ITIS system where you simply enter the results and the factors are automatically converted and the sum calculated. A negative result indicates the water is corrosive. A positive result indicates the water is scale forming. Good housekeeping. Following tests, empty the used tubes and clean immediately along with any stirrers. Leave the testing equipment how you would like to find it ready for the next test. Frequency of tests. The number of pool tests carried out per day must follow the normal operating plan for that specific pool. For disinfectant and pH levels, they must meet the minimum requirements of three times per day for an automatic dosing pool and at least every two hours for a pool manually dosing. Other parameters such as total alkalinity, calcium hardness and total dissolved solids should be tested weekly. This is because these parameters change more slowly so require less frequent testing. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit the STA or Lovey Bond websites, email or call the numbers below.